Okay, uh, so today we're going to, uh, every problem we do today in class will be a problem off of your assignment because uh, this is your worksheet. Um, these are more difficult. Uh, we looked at parent functions before break. Uh, now we're going to look at more difficult examples after break. And so, uh, you know, maybe before you saw examples like say y is equal to x minus 3 quantity squared plus 1. Like, well, that's going to be right 3 and up 1 is the parabola, okay? Hopefully you can all look at that and understand that now. But you know, these look like much more complicated examples, don't they? And so you're going to have to kind of commit to memory what some of these shapes look like. Uh, and I'll just uh, kind of refresh your mind a little bit here, but if you have y equals 1 over x or 1 over x cubed, then that's a, if you remember, we kind of had this reciprocal function where we had graphs that looked like this. Remember that? And uh, if we had, say, y was equal to 1 over x squared or 1 over x to the fourth, then we had... How did that change? Do you remember? Yeah, the bottom one flipped up. Why? Because if you square a negative, you get a positive. Exactly. And so that's where we're sitting here. Okay. So let's look at these examples. And these have some transformations. We're going to start off by looking at this one and this one. Okay. One of these has a vertical shift and one has a horizontal shift. Do you know which? Yeah, is the first one on the inside or outside? Is this on the inside or outside? This is definitely on the outside, so that's going to be a vertical shift. This is on the inside, so we say it's a horizontal shift. So it's going to be shifted to the right or left? Left two units. We're going to take that original parent graph. We're going to shift it two units to the left. And we are going to have uh, one graph that's going to sit in this lower part, and then one graph will sit in this upper part. And it asks us to list the domain and the range as well. So the domain is all x values not equal to negative 2. And the range is all y values not equal to Zero. Very good. So how would that one down to the lower right, this one over x plus three, how would that look differently? Up three. What would the domain be? And the range? Y not equal to zero. Very good. Okay, so you have some reciprocal functions as we talk about them. Uh, we're going to look at another reciprocal function right here. What's different about that one? Squared in the denominator, what's that going to do to these two pieces right here? The bottom one will be flipped up. Exactly. Now, the squared, so I'll draw the parent function first so we can get all these things straight. Okay. If we draw the parent function, it would be centered at 0, 0. And we would have both parts would be above the x-axis. Okay. That's, that's what the parent function would look like. But this one has some transformations that are occurring. What are the transformations? Over 3, is that right 3 or left 3? Right 3. And then notice this negative up here. This would be just like saying y is equal to negative, and then 2 over x minus 3 quantity squared. So 
what's going to happen is the negative is that staying on the outside or the inside? It's on the outside, so that creates a vertical flip. The two, you don't really need to account for that. All that's going to do is it's just going to create a little bit of a vertical stretch, which we can't really show. And so we're, we're not too worried about what that two doesn't shift it up to or down to. It actually creates a gentle stretch to it. So we're not concerned about that. Okay, so I'm going to move right three. I don't have any vertical shift. And they both sit below them because of the vertical flip. So there's three examples of some rational functions. Let's do one that's not a rational function. Let's look at the one right behind it. What do you think? So the one-third power. Yeah, the cube root, exactly. So that'll be like, say, y is equal to the cube root of x minus 3. Okay? And do you remember what the parent function of a cube root function looks like? So that would be square root, but because, it, can you take the square root of a negative? No, can you take the cube root of a negative? And the cube root of a negative is a negative. So that's the parent function. So how is this going to be shifted? Three to the right. Now we get to what some of you guys are saying. You have the square root function, so kind of just like that, right? But we have we have three transformations that are taking place here. Up one. The x is negative, so is it going to be a vertical flip or a horizontal flip? Is it negative on the inside or the outside? Since it's on the inside, it is a horizontal flip. And what would you plug, plug in to make zero here? Four. So it's four to the right, it's up one, and it's a horizontal flip. Now, uh, something that I would want to do is if I start making a graph, I want to have some reasonable way to check my answer. Now, obviously, you could go to your graphing calculator on your assignment. You could plug it in. You could check the answer key. But here's something else that's a telltale sign for me. You learned how to find this domain, right? You said on your test, you said 4 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. You subtracted 4. Negative x has to be greater than or equal to negative 4. Divide by negative 1. x is less than or equal to 4. Well, does this graph look like all values that are less than or equal to 4? Yeah. So that's a reasonable way to assess, you know, does it look like it would be right? So domain is going to be x less than or equal to 4. Or if you'd like to write from negative infinity to positive 4 as an interval, that's fine. And the range would be from 1 to what? 1 to infinity. Sometimes it's good to just kind of rewrite things a little bit. So you can see that in this example, um, we have a, a 4 minus. It might be more helpful if you write it as y is equal to negative x minus 2 to the fifth plus 4. Now, that's the way that I would most commonly write it. However, who knows how the book will write it? Who knows how the ACT will write it? Who, who knows how we'll write it in calculus next year? It could be all over the place. Okay, So... Um, what does the parent function look like? Since it's a fifth power and not a one-fifth power, it looks like that. Okay, Very similar to a cube. So what are the transformations that happen? Up four. Okay, vertical flip and... Right two. 
Winston is going to come on in here in a second. We all clap for Winston. Everybody just clap for him. All right. Hi, buddy. Good to see you. Thanks for the charger. So loud. All right. Domain. It's all real numbers, right? Range. All real numbers. Oh, goodness. What do we even do? Let's first think about what the parent function looks like. This is a reciprocal function, right? Because it sits in the denominator, this x is in the denominator, it's a reciprocal function. So if you consider 1 over x to the fifth, you can see here this is to the first power. So you can see that they're in opposite quadrants. Here this is to the second power. So they're in the same quadrants. Okay. Uh, here you're to the fifth, so odd, so opposite quadrants. And you said that we're going to move right 3. And then we're going to create a vertical flip. Yep. Domain. X can't be. Three. Range. Y can't be. Okay, a uh, couple more examples. Uh, fourth root. Yeah. GG, why, why did you just start at zero? Why don't you go all the way back? Why, why don't you have this part of it? Okay, and you can't take an even root of a negative, right? You're okay for odd roots, but not, not even roots. So um, let's say that there's no vertical shift here, but the horizontal shift. What would you plug in to make zero? Negative three. So it goes back three units. There you go. Domain. Negative three at infinity. And range. Cube root. Yeah, there there we pick up both parts of it, right? What are the two transformations that happen here? Over two more. Yeah, it, so Natalie picks this up right away. She sees it, um, but I get a lot of people that when they do this stuff, they're like, "Well, I don't, I don't remember how to do that one." That's just a line, right? Y intercept of negative three, slope of two. Domain, all reals, range, all reals. No big deal.
deal, right? But yeah, when people look at it, they're, they're used to thinking about all the other shapes. So let, let's not forget how to graph a line, right? Uh, the next one, oh boy. Ew. What are we even gonna do? Okay, up four, but what does the parent function look like? Uh, it's it's x to the two thirds. So think about it. That, that the three on the bottom that's like a cube root, right? But if we square something, that makes it positive, right? Remember, this is the the bird function. Bird function. Yeah, so uh, the, the plus 4 is going to move it up 4. Is the negative on the outside or the inside? It's on the outside. And so it's a vertical flip. Go up to 4. I'm going to do this vertical flip thing. And, you know, it's, uh, it, well, so the domain, what's the domain? Yep, negative infinity, infinity. And what's the range? Yeah, and you know, it didn't take us that long to sketch that graph, um, but yet if you plug it into your calculator, go into y equals, you can take a negative cube root of x squared plus 4 just to check, and as I go zoom standard, you can see that, I mean, my graph is ridiculously accurate, you're right, I mean, you might say, well, we're not being very accurate with our sketches, I think that's pretty good. Fun. You, you guys, you guys, you guys miss some time. You're, you're, you're like, you know, over break. Did you miss math a little bit? You're like, shoot, I, I wish I had some math to do. You know? Did anybody feel like they could have used one extra day? Like you were like, I really need one extra day. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. You need it. Your siblings didn't have school day. What? How much is? How is that even fair? How is that fair? Let's get a petition. Let's get some justice around here for crying out loud. No more making us go to school. We don't want an education. Other countries don't make you have an education. No. Done with this. All right. All right. Homework optional. The rest of your test optional all the way. Grades are not optional, but everything else is, you know, you're still going to get a grade, but... <laughs> Alright, your assignment is finished worksheet, it's posted, and it's online.